Hello, students. How are you today? I'm going to introduce you to the topic that said um, ICT. I know some of you have heard of ICT. I don't know some of you know what ICT means. And I know some of you do hear about it, but you don't know what it is. What is ICT? An ICT it stands for Information and Communication Technology. Information and Communication Technology. Without information, you cannot communicate. So two of them goes hand in hand. Now let's talk about the gadgets, ICT gadgets. These are the devices that you can use to get information, the devices you can use to do what? To communicate. The first one there is television set. Television set, of which you know some of you have it in your houses, is what you use to do what? To get information. It's also what you use to do what? To communicate to others outside. Then we'll talk about the cell phones, the mobile phones, the telephones, used to communicate to one another. Yeah. We'll talk about the personal computers, which we call PC. Then we'll talk about tablets. I know some of our parents have tablets in our houses. They use it for what? Information and communication technology. Now, the ICT includes both internet connected devices some of these wired or wireless connection with our laptops in order to get information and not communicate with the technology the device. Then also a mobile one supported by wireless technology. Some of our devices that have wireless um, devices also support the ICT technology. Then we have the latest ICT gadgets and their uses include the introduction of smartphones, tablets, and digital, and digital DV, TVs. The incorporation of ICT into our daily lives have changed almost everything about how we interact, both on the person and the professional levels. Now, the ICT have changed what? Our daily lives. The way we communicate, the way we interact with others is with aid of what? ICT. We we'll get information as fast as possible and we can do what communicate to others. Now, you see, computer technology applications now perform hundreds of tasks that were done by humans. Now, you can see that virtually everything we have is being controlled by what? ICT. For instance, when you go to the banking hall, I remember then some years passed, they employ manpower to help them to do what? do cashier job and other withdrawal and other aspects. But recently we have what we call ATM machine. The ATM machine is because of what ICT is a device. Now it can pay people, it can pay number of people within few minutes, which manpower can do it for them. Now we talk about what uses of ICT. The uses of ICT. You know we heard of ICT, ICT, what are the uses? First of all, we say they make conversation easier. Conversation. Like now, I'm online. There is no school at the moment. But we can interact via mobile, via, via any of the social media. Why? Because of the aid of what? ICT. Now it says ICTs are transformed person, personal, one to one communication into group dialogues in the digital world. You can talk to anyone anytime without ever leaving your home. You can interact. You can chat with your friends even in your house. You can call your uncle, your auntie, wherever they are staying, even right in your house. I'll give you a little story. When I was um, in secondary school, then this ICT wasn't really wasn't really coming up then. I remember we would go to Naples to go and make phone calls. You leave your house as early as possible in the morning to go and do what? Stay in the queue. But then, it is very difficult to do what? To communicate with somebody in wherever you are going to. Now, I remember also, when you write a letter you want to send to your uncle in the U.S. or in Lagos or wherever, it takes weeks almost to get there. But because of the introduction of ICT, it is not easier that you can even wake up in the morning. Anytime and call your uncle or whosoever at 
enter by us. Now, the second one says, they allow us to do everything everywhere. You can share pictures via WhatsApp, Twitter, every other social media. Find thousands of images. You can go to, go to your Google, type whatever image and you see that that's the area of what ICT. And read the most interesting articles. Now you're in holiday. You can Google and type any novel you want to read and you see the interesting novels. That's because of the aid of what? ICT. Now the third one says, they increase our effectiveness. Before the introduction of ICT devices, it will take days or weeks for a message or a letter to arrive at its destination, as I told you earlier on this time. Now the first one says, they bring families and friends together. Before ICT, moving away from your parents or your hometown was a real tragedy. And imagine when there is no ICT, probably your son or your daughter is going out. That I'm traveling to Lagos. Because there is no ICT there, there was no ICT there. You will not know what is happening on the road. You will not know when your daughter or your son is in Lagos. But with the help of ICT, it helps to get information at every interval from each of us. Now, this is where I'll round off for now. Remember, I started with ICT. And I made you to know that ICT is information and communication what technology. I told you about the gadgets, television, cell phone, tablets. I've told you their uses. We have more of them. In our next class, I will still introduce you to more of the uses of uh, ICT. But for now, this is why I stop. I'll be sending you assignments on our WhatsApp platform. God bless you.